Uh, welcome guys our talent open studio tutorial in this session we are going to focus on how to combine multiple rows to one comma separated value by using TD normalized processing component this component is very helpful to synthesize the input flow means denormalize the input flow based on the column and one more thing this component can be used as intermediate step in a data flow in talent job so guys uh, we have an example here here you can see we have a file like uh, player details and this uh, file you can see there is a id first name last name and games and you can see a player is playing more than one game so i want to combine a single row for each player having all the games in a single column separated by comma so how can we do that in talent so guys let's see how can we do that so i have already a job blank job t denormalize example so i have already created a metadata for this uh, file so first of all if i am going to open it you can see the data which is coming from the file so guys you can see that uh, it is window first name id first name last name games if i am going to click on next button then you can see the fill separator is comma and row separated is a backslash n and this is the data so i am going to finish it okay so guys to read the data from the file i am going to use t t file input delimited okay now what i need to do here i need to add a data source uh, so first of all there you can see pro uh, property type so that is built in that is by default so i am going to use repository and in the repository what i need to do the, this is the name of my metadata for file delimited okay now uh, you can see okay and I want to see the data here, so I am going to use T log T log row. This is a very useful component in talent because it display displays the data on the console. So I am going to connect my T file input to my T log. In T log, I am going to see the schema so you can see this is the input schema which is coming from the file input delimited and that is my output from t log now click on ok button so i want to choose a mode as a table and run my job so guys you can see this is the data which is common which is coming from the file so i need to denormalize this data so i am going to use another component that is t d normalize okay this component is very useful to denormalize your data okay so i am going to connect my t log row to t d normalize click on it now first of all i need to check the schema so click on edit schema just copy all the schema all the column to denormalize click on ok button now on the t denormalize processing component you can see there is a to denormalize so it is asking the column which you want to denormalize so i am going to click on add 
and you can see it will display all the columns this is because we have to the same schema which is coming from the t input delimited through t log row component so here i need uh, our column name is games so the delimited column should be semicolon or colon so i am going to choose comma and uh, there is a checkbox merge same values so i am going to check this uh, checkbox okay now everything has been done for this column because we want to denormalize this column okay now if i am going to run this job then you can see there is no error so i want to see the output so if you want to store this output any other destination like csv text file any database then you can do that but for the demo purpose i want to see the output here so i am going to use another t log row component okay so guys i also told you that this component is very useful if you want to see the output on the console then definitely you should use this component so i am going to connect my t normalized component to t log row log row t log row component okay now going to add this schema so you can see the it is copy the same schema from the t denormalized component to t log to t log row component also click on okay button okay so i am going to choose the mode as a table for this t log row to component also and just run my job again so let's see what is the output so guys you can see the output okay this is the output which is coming from t log row to component and you can see here that all the games for a particular player has been combined in a single row separated by comma so and you can see the actual data over here again which is coming from t log row 1 component so guys it is very easy to denormalize your normalized data by using the normalized processing component so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on talent open studio ssrs ssis SQL Server, Azure Data Warehouse, Azure Data Modeling, Azure Data Factory, and guys, we are coming with more videos on Python, R, W, and Power BI. Don't forget to press on the bell bell icon on my channel also. Thank you for watching us.